In this video, I'll show you how I format content for the focus WordPress theme, which is what I use over at niche site project. I'm an affiliate for the focus WordPress theme. I use it on 80% of my sites. It's built for speed. It is sort of flying in the face of the page builders that are out there that are bloated and too big. And I use it to create sales pages. I use it on my blogs. I use it on my affiliate sites. I really like the theme and that's why I'm showing you how to use it. I'm gonna do this real time, no editing. So I have a blog post. I'm just gonna click new. I have a few images. I'm gonna show you how I place them in there as well. So first off, um, this will be sort of off, off on the side, but we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste the blog post in here maybe some light formatting to be done. So I'm just gonna paste it in there. And we have the full blog post, which is great. Next, I'm gonna pop over and put in the title. So this is how to reduce the initial server response times, a little bit about site speed. So one thing, when you copy and paste um, from Google Docs, Word, some other uh, just word processors, you may need to double check and make sure there's not like extra garbage in here, like this P class two, three, four, that may be okay. Um, we have just a, a lot of like little extra classes. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be really easy for me to pull these out or not. One thing that you can do is highlight all the text and I just did a control A, so highlight all the text. And then there's this clear formatting button because WordPress knows that there could be some extra cruft, extra garbage. So I'm gonna click clear formatting and see if that fixed it. And as you can see here, it pulled out a lot of extra formatting that was completely irrelevant, all right? It, it was not needed here. So next I'm gonna go through and make sure things you know, didn't get screwed up along the way. There's a chance that maybe some of the subheadings were removed and in that case, like optimize the web server. Um, there's a couple little things we'll need to double check here. So let me look back at the original document here and I'll be able to just compare it and make sure it lines up. So this is not ideal, but you are able to copy and paste from some other document, which is kind of nice. So I will make this, I'm just gonna stick to the original formatting. So I'll make this a heading two. I'll make this a heading three. So it follows the hierarchy. And as we scroll down, we'll see eliminate bloat right here. So again, this is real time, so I'm not gonna not gonna change uh, and edit, come back. I'm just gonna show you how long it takes for me to format one of these WordPress posts. And we have four tools to analyze server response time. So that's an H2. This one will be an H3. And um, the person that wrote this for me, Bill, he put in the links for me. So I'll just go in and add those um, as we go. So I'm just using the keyboard, keyboard shortcut, keyboard, keyboard shortcut. Um, so what is server response time? We'll make that the H2. And what's a good initial server response time? So these are nice, nice questions that people ask and it looks like, there we go. Okay, so now I need to go through and make sure the links are inserted so far so good and i'll go ahead save the draft so i don't lose what i've done and i will change the permalink while we're here and we'll say reduce server response time that seems good i'm having some light work done so if you hear some sort of drilling in the background that is actually drilling going on in the background Okay, so we're saving along the way. Now we'll double check and make sure we don't have any like naked URL type links in here. 
So. I'm going to get rid of that. And I don't like to have links on the subheadings just as a personal preference. So I'll be removing those and putting, putting them here. It's always helpful to learn your sh keyboard shortcuts out there. Makes things go a little bit faster. Pingdom is actually what I use if you care about the tool that I personally use. So I use Pingdom just because it's fast. And I'll take a look at some of the others uh, occasionally just because they provide data in, in different ways and are helpful uh, each in their different way. Right, looks good. Oh, and I think this time to first bite, that's actually kind of a important, important thing. So I'm gonna highlight that, I'll make it bold, make it really stand out. And again, we have a good answer here. Make that bold. Couple little copying paste errors, couple little things. Right. And we'll put a reference for this. Perfect. And I think this is pretty good. So now we'll save. So I have drafted it for the most part. Now we have a few images which have been compressed ahead of time. And I actually need to uh, take a look at some of these because I, I don't even remember. So we have um, Amazon and we'll just, I'm just gonna take a look at the, the results here. Uh, well, these are showing results, but I'm like, okay, what images are they? So page speed insight, we have GT metrics, and then we have pingdom results. And then we have Amazon um, time to first byte results. So what I'll do is um, place these images where they should go and there's a couple little formatting things that I will need to do. So I need to double check where the images need to go. So I will take a quick look. And I said I wasn't gonna add it, but I'm gonna pause here just to make sure I know where these images go because that's not fun to watch. Where these images go, so it just took a second. So first one that we're gonna run across is the Google PageSpeed Insights. So I'm gonna place it just right here. So we'll add media. I will just drag the image that I have here over. It'll upload. Again, these have already been compressed with an external tool. I don't like to do that on my main uh, website here just because that's more server load. So I'm gonna in insert this into the post. And what I'll do, right, so there's a little extra formatting that you can do. So I'll highlight the image and then the focus content styles allows me to extend it. So it'll show the image wider than the text content space. So I'll extend and then I'll take a quick look and make sure that it looks all right to me. So here we see dev class extend. You could type this in manually if you wanna do that, but it, I just use the visual method over here. And what I'll do is save it. Then I'll hit preview so we can see what it looks like. In the next image, I'll show you without doing that. So you see it's a little bit wider here than what the text is, which is kind of nice visually if you have a desktop and you're able to view it this way. So just adds a little bit more um, you know, flavor, we'll call it. 
Next, we have, I think, Pingdom. So again, same deal. I'll hit Add Media. Go ahead and drag the Pingdom results over. Insert it into the post. And we'll take a quick look at this without extending it. So we'll show what it looks like sort of smaller. Right? So now this is the same width as the content. Then if we do come over here and say extend, it should be a little bit wider, although I didn't look at the resolution and size of this image. Hopefully it'll be wider so that this exercise has a point. There we see, it's just a little bit wider, not a ton. Sometimes you could end up with much larger images, which is cool if you, if you have the opportunity to do so and need to do it. Next, I think we have GT Metrics coming up here. GT Metrics is, is pretty good. I, I do like them as well. Get a lot of detail. Boom, insert into the post, same deal. Just click Extend. And I'm not gonna save here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the last image for the server response time. So I think that one, it'll look nice right about here, maybe right here. And this is Amazon results. There we go. So this one's a little bit wider, which is cool. So it will show up a little bit, a little bit more. So at this point in time, I'm going to show you one other thing because you could do some other interesting formatting, which is kind of cool. So a couple things I'll show you. Number one is I want to highlight some text here to not just highlight it, but to put a little box around it because that's kind of kind of a cool thing that I enjoy doing. So maybe we'll do this whole server response time section. Okay, this whole section, we're gonna put a box around it. We're gonna put a blue box around it. So if you go to call out, I'm gonna put this blue box, which is a note. Now sometimes it's gonna screw up just because the visual editor in WordPress is some kind of sometimes not perfect. So you can see it, it has created these divs all around each one of the line items, which is not what we want. So I'm going to undo that, <laughs> number one. So we're gonna undo that. And I'm just gonna highlight this portion and I'm gonna make that the note. So this is why you, you can hop over to the text version and just tweak things a little bit. So you do have to touch the code, but it's not scary. So all I did, I cut the div class note and then I put it above the heading, the H2 heading. Now I'm gonna get the closing div um, bracket there and then I'm gonna put it underneath that section. So now we'll have this section that looks pretty nice. And then there's also something called pop, which adds a shadow around it, which looks pretty, pretty sexy in my opinion. So I'm gonna click preview now and you'll be able to see the blue box. And I'll show you one last thing before we move on. So here's the blue box and there's the sexy shadow that we see around it. So kind of cool. I'm not sure if this belongs in a box like this, but you could do, you know, a couple things I'll show you really quickly. So one is you can actually add that pop to images. So you could just select the image, go to the content styles and pop is listed right there. So you could just do that for each one of these. So all the images will have that visual pop that makes them stand out. It makes it look just a little bit more interesting. It's not, you know, a huge major thing. And you could also, for example, extend, like if you create a box like this, maybe for a sales page, you could actually make this whole section extend. So you can kind of mix and match and make these um, very customized for exactly what you wanna do. And we can preview really quickly here and just see all the changes that we 
we just made. So now we'll be able to see the images pop. So they stand out a little bit more instead of just you know black and white it's a little bit more interesting now we have this very wide extended box here so if we want something to stand out you can do that i'm actually going to make this smaller again and um, here we see this sort of stands out a little bit more and i forgot to make this one pop so i'll go back and do that and let's go back like i said i don't want to actually extend the box so i'm going to Go ahead and highlight that or go to this section. So I will take away the extend. And then we have the one other image, which is right here. This is the Amazon time to bite. And I will just type in pop. I'm gonna click save. Then we'll preview it one last time. And then it should be good to go. Looks pretty good. The images are popped. We have this in a blue box. Um, potentially I could put the other, you know, the other questions and answers in the boxes, but it doesn't matter too much. And I'm not gonna hit publish just yet. I do need to, um, you know, give credit to Bill who wrote this for me. And other than that, this is how I format a post. It goes pretty quick and you know, you can go in there and tweak endlessly, but this is um, just kind of the bottom line, exactly what I do.